welcome back to Out of Bounds Golf at Riverway. Riverway is a 30 minute drive from downtown, so pretty close. Um, it's one of the two City of Burnaby courses. They're both public. Everyone is welcome, just the way we like it. We just recently completed Burnaby Mountain. Those are the first four episodes of the channel. If you haven't gone and seen them, please go check it out. As some of you might already know, Happy Gilmore was filmed here. So you may recognize some of the holes and uh, features in the, on the course. Um, but it's a great day, going out with some buddies, playing a best ball round. So pretty, pretty laid back. Was hitting driver off the tee. The bunkers, yeah, I'm thinking a bit about them. So ended up with a pretty strong hook there, I guess, which is kind of weird. Um, but the ball's sitting up nicely with a 7-iron. Didn't want to get too, uh, too aggressive right off the start. And hurt my wrists and my swing, you know. But uh, yeah, a little bit short. A little, uh, try and get it up. Should have uh, hit the 54 instead of the sandwich to get a nice little roll. But quite a hefty par putt on one. But yeah, the claws and you know this new grip style and it's working so well, so I'm loving it. Um, hole two, got water all up on the left, bunker on the right. So I was thinking, I just wanted to cut the corner with a nice little fade, uh, set it up for about 130 out, something along those lines. I think you're even shorter than that. Yeah, you. Uh, oh, I was scared. I hit the two iron, you hit the driver. Yeah, it was, it was a, ballsy. I like it. Yeah, it was. It paid off. It was very nice. So, so one twenty three with a pitching wedge. I thought um, I was just going to try and put it dead center of the green and give myself a two putt for par. I felt the putter was doing pretty well. Here's the posse of four walking up, <laughs> yeah. up to the green. Um, but yeah, ended up with a, a pretty large left to right uphill putt. And I hit it well. I just misread the, you know, I have problems with the uphill putts. Got to hit more of them. But uh, yeah, bogey, bogey. Not great with the three putt. So here we go, par five. Chance to maybe get a another par, or maybe the first one of the day. And yeah, surprise, surprise. If there are trees on the left, I tend to go in them. I don't know. But I got lucky. I went over it. Found the ball sitting. Yeah, it's sitting down. Ugly. Yeah, it's sitting Not down. Not nice. So I figured I'd just do the same thing I did last time. Seven iron, get her in play. These massive hills on the left, you know, it's kind of like you're in a valley, so you don't really want to be up there. Just give yourself a chance to go for the green. Um, but yeah, as you'll see, there's so many bunkers up there, so I figured I can't hit it long. I'll get stopped in a bunker if that's the worst case scenario. So I just wanted to play a little fade, try to fade it back on the green. Uh, it went pretty straight. Caught that bunker, it looks like. Yeah, caught that bunker. Uh, it looks like it actually hit like the back edge of the bunker and then it rolled. So like it could have, yeah, yeah, it could have uh, been worse. It's hard to tell with all the footprints. Uh, yeah, it's still true. playing without rakes I know. and stuff like that, but uh, playing golf, so it can't be too upset. No, so just do your best to clean it with your foot or your club and and get out. Um, had a chance for a par putt. This is the great distance. I love it. Six to eight feet, you know, and was really, bunk, yeah, really excited to get up and down uh, from a bunker, you know, par five or no par five. Nice little bunker. sandy there for you. Yeah, it felt great. The, like the driver finally uh, was working. Hit, uh, was trying to go over those bunkers, cut that corner again, and would have been great. You're, he was just up there, right in front of me in the fairway. Oh yeah, a little further. Yeah, so you just want to get that little bounce up to the right, but couldn't have been happier. Six iron, it's a tough hole, hole four. Um, three handicap. So giving myself a birdie putt is always a great feeling. Uh, if it's flat, you know, it's, it's a massive flat green. I think it's just a long hole, that's why it's such a difficult hole. Um, but I gave it a chance. I felt great about it. And uh, par. yeah, they're, they're par train. Let's go. Another par five chance to potentially uh, maybe get another par. 
bunkers on the left, very similar looking hole as you can see. Yeah, it's like the same hole, but it's just a bit longer. Yeah, then just yeah, exactly. It feels exactly the same. It's like so the same I, tee shot. So I thought I'll do the same thing. I'll cut the corner and I'll go over the bunker, but kept it really low, you know. But I'd rather be there than in the bunker. Um, 245 out and uh, just pulled it I mean pulled it a little pull hook but it I, I didn't really know I, I haven't I didn't really know what it was uh, what to expect but when we came out and we found it I was very very happy 71 out on a you know par I mean, it's great yeah from the last shot it looked like it was gonna go into the trees but it didn't yeah, it from that angle it looked like it was in the trees uh, from the fringe as you guys know, I love the fringe. Right? <laughs> it's like button in, it's like chipping in. So the confidence is great. The putter is feeling good. Oh, so close! Yeah, I couldn't have hit it better. Perry, your partner was pretty excited there for you. So we were yeah. playing a best ball um, today with our buddies. So try something different. But if it's something you guys want to see Rudy and I do, let us know. Smash that like button. Yeah, please. We want to. I want to give you guys some variety. Uh, here we are, hole six. This is the intro hole that you guys have been seeing for the last six episodes. Um, water up on the uh, left, bunkers on the right. You know, I want to say I like not pin high, obviously, but I was in a pretty good place. Just uh, not much green to work with. Not much green to work with, and the short game could always be better. Um, you know. The pin placement's really tough on top of that ridge, so happy to get away with the bogue. Water up on the left. I can't believe this is the hardest hole because it's so short. But uh, I guess it just makes you hit your shot, though. Like you have to. You can't hit driver here. It's you can't very, hit driver. You got to find risky. the fairway. You got to hit over water on the second one, most likely. That's true. Yeah, you're flirting with the water in a couple shots here. Yeah. Um, One thirty-three out. I was feeling pretty good because of these pars, uh, you know, except for that last hole. So the irons were feeling great. You just chunked that one a bit? Or? Chunked it, threw a massive piece of grass into the lake, was looking for the, the divot to replace it, but I couldn't find it. So it was, it was floating. But That's I pretty good out of there. Yeah, happy to find it. Uh, got a little unlucky with that bounce, kind of, you know, it just released a little bit. I'd be putting, um, and the putter could have done something. Yeah, I always look at the shots like, if I come out with something better than where I would have dropped it, then it's a win. That's a very, And exactly very what's good happened point. there, you could have dropped it right by the green and that's where you ended up so I'd yeah. be happy with it. Oh that's very true. Yeah. Opposed to having to redrop where it yeah. enters the hazard. And then yeah. taking a shot from back there. Yeah so. that's, that's the best nice. scenario. Eight. Um, yeah the GoPro goes to time lapse mode but uh, it was a great shot you know a little bit short just needed it to roll up but a massive right to left. Um, the putt's so long that I thought there's no reason to chip it. And plus, it's the fringe. The yeah, the screen is divided in the middle with this ridge, and it's the low side on the left and the high side on the right. He was right in the middle of it. Yeah, one but massive, great, massive great putt. We actually gave you that putt. Yeah, so I'm, I'll take yeah. it. Um, here we got four people talking to a ball, and this is what happens. Get through. Get that oh. cart path. Ride, oh. baby, ride. Yes. Oh. So I was like <laughs> bouncing on wow. the cart path. And then Jamming. I think it bounced twice in the cart path and then hit a sign that said cart path, which it bounced up and then kicked into the fairway. A miracle. Uh, second shot, 184 out. There's a massive water hazard, so you can't really go up to the green. So I was just trying to play it uh, safe. And for a chunked six iron, that was a pretty great place to be. Yeah, I mean, you could have easily chunked it and gone in the water. I so know. I'm so happy, happy with that. that. Yeah. The line dead on the flag I was feeling really confident with it uh, and you know the putter the putter was good just give myself a par play. this this hole for me I don't think I've ever been on this green into I've struggled with this hole as well I just getting there it, too so going easy. driver off the tee is so difficult there's just so much to look at thanks for checking out episode six next week the back nine go and check out our previous episodes and uh, we'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. Also, comment. Let us know if you want to see something different, uh, whether different playing styles, different courses. Um, we just really want to share our passion for golf. We're totally open to suggestions on, on courses, style. We're new to this, and we're just trying to 
find her feet. Please tell us what your favorite golf movie is. Mine is The Legend of Bagger Vance by a long shot. And mine's Tin Cup. Let us know what your favorite is. And obviously The Legend of Bagger Vance is better than Tin Cup, but Tin Cup's a pretty good one, guys. But uh, we can all agree that The Legend of Bagger Vance is the one. All right, I'm gonna have the last word. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>